Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this Friday. It is March 11th, and the weekend is here. Um, (laughs) Although it's going to be a soggy weekend, it appears. Yeah, we have several more rounds of rain still to come. Uh, It's not going to rain the entire time, as we discussed yesterday, if you were listening in the podcast. Uh, But uh, the rain chances look really good, uh, high, and uh, some heavy rainfall certainly possible. We saw some of that yesterday afternoon, uh, about supper time, drive home, drenching downpours, moving through the Bowling Green area. All that has moved out now. It's pretty quiet on radar this morning. I don't think you'll see really any shower activity today until we get on in to maybe into the afternoon. There could be a few scattered showers here and there that pop up. But for the most part, we're going to see this uh, little bit of a lull in the activity from what we saw yesterday to what we're expecting over the course of the weekend. And uh, the good news is temperatures are going to stay really warm for this time of the year. Uh, We're going to be slightly cooler than yesterday, but um, still very warm for this time of uh, March when we should be pacing about 58 for a high. We hit 68 yesterday, 10 degrees above the average high for the day. 57 was our low temperature when we should be averaging 35. Folks, that's a 22-degree difference in overnight lows. Wow. One year ago, we had a high of 64 and a low of 48 back in 2015. Now, out at the Bowling Green Airport yesterday, we picked up six-tenths of an inch of rain, just a little bit over a half inch of rain. But uh, there were some locations. You go back uh, toward Hopkinsville and Christian County, which went under a flood warning for a few hours yesterday. Uh, they had just rain upon rain upon rain. They, they picked up well over three inches of rain just yesterday. Uh, in Hopkinsville in the Christian County area. And western Kentucky uh, continues to be under the gun for some of the heavier rain that's going to come through, although we're going to get our taste of it as well here in the rest of southern Kentucky as we go through the weekend. Uh, We're going to say uh, things are going to be relatively quiet. As I mentioned earlier, we're kind of in transition from these uh, storm systems. Uh, We've got another big surge of energy that's going to come up through Texas and Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, and then back into Kentucky over the course of the weekend. And that's when our uh, threat for heavier rains will return. But for today, just cloudy, mild, for the most part dry. Uh, We're going to see an isolated shower chance mainly during this afternoon, but not everybody's going to see that. 64 will be our high temperature. That front that came through yesterday is now just kind of stalled out in the Tennessee Valley, but it's going to return as a warm front as we get into the day tomorrow, as you'll hear in tomorrow's forecast. Tonight, though, uh, we're looking at a 50% chance of a shower or thunderstorm, mainly after midnight, and we'll see a low of 59. And then that warm front, uh, that those showers will actually be on the leading edge of that warm front as it moves back into southern Kentucky. And that's going to bring us a very warm day for Saturday. And it's actually going to shut off the rain for a while early Saturday. So if you have anything outdoors uh, that you want to do, uh, get it in early on Saturday, save the first half of the day. I think we should be mainly rain-free and quite warm. A high of 79, I mean, we could hit 80. And if we hit 80, that would be the first time this year that we've hit the 80-degree mark. But as that next piece of energy comes in for Saturday afternoon and evening, showers and thunderstorms will come rolling back in. And yes, some of the rainfall could be heavy, more drenching downpours. Not expecting severe weather, but lightning, thunder, gusty winds, and heavy downpours of rain. Then the front stalls out once again. And that's going to keep rain in the forecast pretty much off and on all day Sunday with a high of 74. And then again on Monday with a high of 72. So good chances of rain all the way through the rest of the weekend beginning Saturday afternoon and evening and running all the way through Monday early. 
Now, I do think the rains will start to taper off sometime uh, Monday morning, and then we'll see just mainly cloudy skies for the rest of Monday. But then another warm front makes its way into the area, and on Tuesday now, we have bumped that temperature up to 80. Now, that if we don't hit 80 tomorrow, this would be the first 80-degree temperature of 2016 on Tuesday. And with that will come a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm as that warm front comes through. Then here comes the big front. Now, the big front, uh, we've made a couple of changes with it. It it does not appear that we're going to get a lot of rain out of that front. It's mainly going to be a front that ushers in the cooler air. The change is kind of a reset back to more seasonable readings as we get into the middle part of next week. Uh, mostly sunny now Wednesday. We've taken out the chance of rain there, although we could put it back in. Uh, but the latest uh, updates on the models showing mainly dry and mostly sunny. A little bit cooler at 73 from the 80 on Tuesday. But then even more cooler as we get into Thursday of next week. St. Patty's Day, of course. Uh, mostly sunny and 63. So there is going to be a reset in temperatures as we uh, hinted around about yesterday. Looks like uh, the end of next week is going to turn out to be much cooler than what we've had in recent days. And of course, this weekend, do not forget, do not forget that daylight saving time, and it's saving, not savings, take off the S off of saving at the end. It's daylight saving time. It starts 2 a.m. Sunday morning. So Saturday night before you turn in, set your clocks ahead one hour. Spring forward. So uh, it's also a good uh, idea to check the batteries in your smoke detectors, uh, carbon monoxide detectors, your weather radios. This is what I always tell people. If you have a weather radio, Take those batteries out, even though they may look good, and you may think, well, just bought those not that long ago. If you leave, if you leave those batteries in the NOAA weather radios for, uh, you know, a good uh, six to eight months, they, they will start to corrode, and it'll mess up your, your weather radio. I don't know how many people last Saturday brought in uh, some of their weather radios, and really simply, they said, it's not working anymore. And really, the, the simple answer was, well, I opened the back of it and saw corroded batteries. Well, it's not going to work if that's the case. You need to change those batteries every time the time changes, when we either spring forward or fall back. That way, there will always be fresh batteries in there. So if your power goes off, you can still listen to the weather radio. But this would be the weekend that we spring forward one hour. Daylight saving time begins Sunday morning at 2 a.m. So don't forget that. In the meantime, thank you as always for listening. God bless and have a great weekend. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. By the way, there will be no radio show this afternoon because, well, the Toppers won yesterday. They upset... UAB in Birmingham, so that means they move on. The toppers move on to the semifinal round today in Birmingham, and that tip-off is at 3 o'clock, right when I would start my radio show. But, hey, it's okay. It's the toppers winning, and I'll give up uh, I'll give up the radio show for certainly that, and we wish all the best to uh, the Men Hill toppers and the Lady Toppers, too, that are playing in the Conference USA tournament. So, Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you later.